What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things consumer conscious and sustainable. Today I will show you how we as a family have transformed our bathroom to be more zero waste. So I'll show you some zero waste swaps that we have made and some major fails. So we have a lot of work still to do. So stick around. Before we move on, please like this video, please hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell that will tell you that I've made a new video every Sunday. So I'm going to start with this activated charcoal powder. It's just um, charcoal in a jar and I have to say I did not like it at all uh, because it, it claims that it's going to whiten your teeth but it actually, for me, it does nothing. I encouraged my family to switch to bamboo toothbrushes and while they're mostly natural they still use the nylon 6 uh, bristles and they are not unfortunately biodegradable but it's still better than using a plastic toothbrush that just goes in the garbage because it can't be recycled at all. I have to say I hate the feeling of this toothbrush in my mouth but it's just a small price to pay. Of course, this is my favorite thing ever, and that's the safety razor. I absolutely love this razor because it's made completely out of steel, except for that handle. The blades are completely recyclable and compostable. You just have to make sure that you talk to your trash company about how to properly do it because you don't want to just bury them in the dirt and have kids and dogs find them. Here are the bamboo cotton buds made from organic cotton. Um, I like them because, again, they are completely compostable. Now about kind of my neck or armpit to face care. When I want to have a mask for my face, I just use this honey. This is completely organic honey that I got in the grocery store around the corner. And the honey makes my face feel so rejuvenated and uh, fresh. And this honey is actually crystallized, so it's actually even a really good exfoliant. This is just baking soda in a jar. The jar I reused from a jam jar, and I use this baking soda to wash my face in the morning and actually uh, make a little paste and put under my eyes. I find it works really well. It makes my face feel really clean, and I hope to only use this in the future, but I'm not sure if it's possible yet. This is a bit of a fail. Well, yes, it is a crystal deodorant. Uh, it does come in a completely hard plastic uh, container. I bought it in a hurry, so this was my only choice at that time. Uh, and now that's why I'm using it. Remember, zero waste doesn't mean that you have to buy all these beautiful wooden unpackaged items new. It implies that you have to first use up what you have and then buy the unpackaged stuff. So I'm still using that deodorant, but when it's done, I'll buy the unpackaged kind. This does say Sensai on it, but it's just a bottle that I reused from my old toner uh, by Sensai, which I didn't love. Uh, this is just one third of vinegar and the rest water. Um, I should clarify, one third apple cider vinegar and the rest water. I love, love, love this toner. And I actually like the smell. I know a lot of people don't, but it makes my skin after cleaning feel, um, I don't know how to describe that feeling. It just feels really uh, restored. So I have also used rose water on my face as a toner, but while it smelled really, really, really delicious, it felt like I was just splashing water on my face. It didn't feel like it was tightening my skin or, um, I don't know, rebalancing my pH. Uh, it just felt like there was water on my face that smelled really good. You can try it, but I didn't like it. And it's just a bottle from Sensai that I reused, and inside is just coconut oil that I used to take off my makeup. This is a bit of a fail, but again, it's just because I don't know yet what to do about it. My day cream of Sensai and Estee Lauder Night Repair Serum. So the face cream is something that's been bothering me because I just don't know how to go about finding one that is natural. I sometimes think I found something natural, but then I look at the ingredients and they're iffy. And then on top of it, it either comes in plastic packaging or I find out that it's sold in China, which means it is probably tested on animals because the law in China requires products to be tested on animals. So if you know of any serums or face creams that are completely natural, hopefully cruelty-free and come in sustainable packaging, please, please tell me in the comments. 
This is just coconut oil that I was using for my body. The jar, as you can see, is upcycled from the Georganics tooth powder that I tried before. This is the Sisal brush that I use, and yes, it's polyester, the rest, but that's all I could find. I use coconut oil as um, my makeup remover, but also I use it to moisturize my body. And while it is a good smelling product and it is a good moisturizer, it's quite greasy. So after I put it on, I just kind of stand there and wait for it to absorb. So if you don't have time or if you're looking for something that you want to put on just before bed, uh, that is not a product for you. And this soap, while it does come in a glass jar with a little plastic tip, and it claims to be 99% um, natural. Uh, when you look at the ingredients, it's not 99% natural at all. Some of them are just really, really questionable, but um, it is a very popular, like zero waste-ish brand in Poland and I wanted to try it. And of course, everybody always asks zero wasters, do you use toilet paper? We still choose to use toilet paper, but we found toilet paper that does not come in packaging. This is the recycled toilet paper that we got from Tesco, and um, this is a completely package-free toilet paper that came in like a giant vat um, with plastic, but at least it wasn't individually wrapped in plastic. I find that trying to buy zero waste is so difficult. What do you guys think? Type, oh my god, it's so hard in the comments below if you think that. I just feel like consumer world is made for fast consumption, so it's so difficult to find something without packaging or that people would, wouldn't mind packaging in a paper or a carton a container. It's, it can be so frustrating sometimes. This soap I bought locally uh, from you know, a shop here, and then of course, I looked at the ingredients afterwards when it was too late and I found that they use uh, palm oil and they actually use perfume so I wasn't that happy about that I won't be buying that again. What was cool though is that they gave me a bunch of samples. They gave me five different samples of soap without packaging and these are great for putting out for your guests because some people find bars of soap gross to use but then um, the choice is to put a little one and then they can take it with them if they want to. And the biggest fail for me is still my hair in terms of zero waste. I do use purple shampoo and purple conditioner, but it's because I haven't been able to find anything else. And I actually don't know if I need the purple stuff for my white hair. I'm going to try out the apple cider vinegar um, wash instead of conditioner and see how my hair does with it and then I'll have an update about that. This is by far my biggest fail. I don't know why I got this. I think I was just, again, brainwashed by marketing. I saw it and I was like, huh, the mirror, I've heard. It's natural and people love it. And I just bought it. First of all, I hate the packaging. It's ginormous. I don't know why a cleanser needs to be that big. It's all plastic and they use things like perfume which are so cheap so the price of this is actually not justified at all and I do um, use it and it's nice but it's just a cleanser it's not like revolutionary or anything plus they do still test on animals so I'm not that crazy about this cleanser and one more thing that I showed you in the box that I didn't really talk about is the Diva Cup. I have been using one for almost 10 years and it was all thanks to my amazing friend who recommended it and actually bought it for me. It is the easiest zero waste swap you can make. It is so easy to use, there is no smell, nothing, and it is so, so, so sustainable and just a beautiful product. So if you're looking for something to change in that area, that is a product for you. So that's it. These are our bathroom swaps for zero waste. Let me know what you think about them, if I'm completely failing or if I'm on the right path. Next time I'm going to take you through my cosmetics kit and my makeup and see how much I'm failing there or how well I'm doing and what my plans are for making swaps there.